What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Yes, yes, the Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. I notice you've already found the chest I placed it in. Feel free to sort through and take whatever you found there, if you've not done so already. I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest, Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across Iron Bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. I excel in making blades from the Iron Bark, or, or perhaps a breastplate, provided there's enough wood, that is. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you.
I'm Darren Atitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. I would be the same in their place. They have just been attacked, after all. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. I would not allow any to keep me from my goal. Going out there could cause another attack, and I wish no harm upon my clan. This I understand. To hold the group over the individual is worthy. An unexpected trait in your kind. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Of course. I'm, I'm very sorry. It's just that we don't get many visitors. Uh, like you, I mean. Of your kind. I didn't mean it like that. I... Can we start over? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. I... I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. Are all these Baz such cringing, ineffectual creatures? I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do.
I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Really? I... I I'm willing to try anything. Siranas. Oh, Ma Siranas. I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. Take your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. They are the noble beasts that pull our Arabelle, what humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. That is exactly what they are, in fact. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. What do you think? I am glad you attempted it regardless. I will watch her for a while longer and see if her condition changes. I am grateful for your assistance, friend. <laughs> And Darren Atitian outsider. You spoke to him? What did he say?
Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Oh, you are right! I have made poor Kamen miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. This is so wonderful. Young love allowed to flourish. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. <laughs>